Right, YouTube is the Shadow King King Nazru. I'm here with the ep review of the episode Dragon Ball Z Kai, episode 143. We start off where we last ended with Boo getting ready to uh, face Gohan, with Gohan sensing that nothing has changed uh, about Super Boo since the last time they fought, which did not end in Super Boo's favor at all. And Super Boo says that he wants to fight. Uh, go ten and trunks this time, and Gohan is confused by this because he thought that Super Boo would want to avenge himself by defeating Gohan, but he says, uh, but Super Boo says that he wants to finish uh, matters with uh, Go ten and trunks, and he goads them by using their ego by saying that they're chickens for not for not wanting to face him, and thus Go ten and trunks decide to fuse into Go tanks. But this time, take it a bit more seriously than they did last time by fusing into Super Saiyan 3 from the get-go. Well, at least they learned from their experience. Uh, and then, um, uh, we got some little funny bits with, uh, uh, oh, no, 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 wait, wait, that, that happened a little late. I'm sorry. Okay, then we got some... We saw that uh, Beef, the dog, was uh, sensing that there were little remnants of goo that came from Majin Buu and it keeps barking, but nobody notices. Uh, all the, meanwhile, Hercule is trying to reason with Super Buu, trying to remind him of all the good times they had, but Piccolo reminds him that that's not the same Buu. And then Super Buu has his eyes closed and the goo launches on to, I mean, latches on to Gotenks and Piccolo, and thus he absorbs them to become Boo Tanks. And, yeah, this greatly amplifies his powers and his intelligence. And Goten, I mean, in Boo Tanks, uh, lets Gohan know that he, ever since he sensed his power back on, uh, Supreme Kai's world, he knew that he would be stronger than Super Boo. So he came up with this plan to absorb Gotenks. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to carry out the plan earlier because of the time limit, which is about 30 minutes, for the fusion to last, so he had to wait another hour. And I still don't know how Super Boo knows how long an hour is, since last time he tried to wait for an hour, he had, a, had an hourglass, and he didn't wait the full hour. But whatever. Uh... And, uh, he says that he wants to, I mean, Gohan says that if that was the case that you wanted to make yourself stronger, why not absorb me instead of, uh, Gotenks and Piccolo? And Super Blue said, well, what's the point of being the, str being the strongest in the universe if you have no opponent to face? And that's actually true. Uh, I can take it from personal experience that, uh, when you say, like, when you play a video game, and you become so powerful that practically no one can challenge you. It, things get rather dull. So it's kind of like that. So yeah, uh, that's pretty. That's a pretty truthful fact. And he says that he wants to fight, uh, do this fight quickly, since there's a time limit to Goten's power. To which Gohan compliments, "Yeah, it was. That was actually pretty level-headed of you. It probably was for the. Was pretty smart of you to absorb Piccolo." And then they start fighting, and at first they seem evenly matched, uh, with Boo getting a couple more hits, but not enough to make it seem like it's a one-sided fight. But uh, Boo Tanks notes that Gohan isn't fighting seriously right now. He's just uh, he was just testing to see how how powerful he he has become, and. We also got this little nice, uh, funny part where Hercule realized that Dende's, uh, saw the whole fight, and because he wasn't able to, wasn't able to see it, that makes Dende, uh, I mean, that proves that Dende is Kami, or God, as it, as it was. But Dende explains that it's technically just a title that gets passed on, uh, to one per person to another. But he still, Mr. Sain still pays his respects to Dende as God. And then we cut back to the fight, and 
Gohan and Butenks are trying to take things more seriously, and Butenks uses the Makako Senpo, or the special beam cannon, against Gohan. And Gohan, not being able to deflect it, he just tries to block it. But he still takes some serious damage. And Butenks says that that was Piccolo's technique, but, but, come, but because Super Boot, I mean, Butenks was using it, uh, it was much more powerful. Then he starts uh, continuing to fight, and Gohan is ve severely struggling. It's, the fight progressively becomes more one-sided. And uh, Goku, Supreme Kai, Kabito, and Elder Kai see that Gohan's not doing so well. And then uh, the episode ends off with Gohan being uh, severely damaged by the Super Ghost Kamikaze attack, or it was the Super Boo Ghost Kamikaze attack, as it were. So, oh no, great episode. I really did like uh, how Boo was able to cleverly take advantage of the situation that was not in his favor, favor and turn the tables around. And uh, it was nice to see that Boo became much more intelligent because of Piccolo. It was kind of like a, it's kind of like a pseudo turn to return to Piccolo being sort of a villain without him actually being a villain. And um, uh, it was nice to see that Boo how dangerous Boo could be because we saw how dangerous he was with limited intelligence, but now that he's really intelligent, he's even more deadly, he's an even greater threat. And seeing Gohan is supposed to be be the strongest person at this time, uh, he's uh, completely struggling against this new power. So that was episode 143, and I'll catch you guys later.